the nature guy here at Zoo Montana. We got to show you something that we found right here in our building. Look at this cutie. Can you see that little guy in there? Now that's adorable. I know some of you are screaming right now, but this is actually a deer mouse. Found herself a little bit of trouble here at the zoo, so we caught her, and we're going to take her out into the woods and release her to where she belongs. Not here in the building, but we can tell this is a deer mouse by a couple things. First of all, that two-tone coloration. Notice how the top is brown, the bottom is white, the tail is the same way. That big, long nose, and then the final thing, the best way to tell it's a deer mouse, those big, beady eyes. Kind of think of it like a deer in the headlights, those big eyes. That's how you can remember it's a deer mouse. One of the more common mice species here in Montana. Now, a couple cool things about this animal. They are herbivorous, meaning they're going to eat seeds, plant material. But get this, they can eat bugs as well. In fact, as we were waiting to release her, as she dries out, she was a little wet when we got her. Uh, we we're letting her dry out, but we did give her a cricket and she did eat that. Now, as you can imagine, in the summertime, these guys are going to nest under logs and rocks and what have you. But in the winter, they love to come indoors. And that's why these guys are a problem here in Montana because they're often seen as a nuisance. Now get this, they will actually build their nest using hairs or fibers or anything that they can find in their house. But the problem about deer mice, like a lot of my species, they can carry disease. And hantavirus is something you gotta worry about with their droppings. So if you find droppings and you're cleaning them up, be careful, maybe wear a mask or get a professional to help you out because Hantavirus, not something you want to deal with. Now, one final thing about this. Obviously, it's a rodent species. The crazy thing about rodents is they're everywhere in this world. In fact, 40% of all mammal species are rodents. If you can imagine that, they're all over the place. And so you're bound to have a mouse in your house every now and then. Just something to keep in mind. But I'll tell you what, they are cute little buggers when you see them up close like this. And by the way, these guys can have a lot of babies. They can actually start breeding at about seven weeks of age, and in one year, they can easily have upwards of 30 young. That's a lot of babies. They populate quite a bit. They only live about two to maybe 24 months, but I tell you, if you get a good mouse and everything's good inside and it's living well, they can live several years if the conditions are just right. Pretty cool stuff, though. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.